Hi guys, this is James with Brain Candy Productions. Sorry for getting this out so late. I have been at the Renaissance Fair all weekend in Escondido, and it's been a blast. We're going to go ahead and do a second weekend out at Felicita Park, if anyone wants to come join us. Sorry that I missed last Wednesday as well. Um, but don't worry, not slowing down or anything. Just missed a shoot or two. But today we're going to be talking about Dragon Ball Super Episode 113. And it looks like we're going to get a fight between uh, Khalifa Kale and Goku. So going into this, staying away from spoiler territory. Um, I wanted to talk about staying away from spoiler territory for me, not reviewing any spoilers. Um, really looks like a couple of things, predictions that I have are they're really pushing Super Saiyan 3. So, we might get another individual to get a Super Saiyan 3 transformation. Now, for a lot of people that I've been looking at, and a lot of people have been stating and speculating that if Khalifa were to get Super Saiyan level 3, they'd be outraged. I want to talk about Super Saiyan 3 for just a minute. I think it would be a good thing if Khalifa got Super Saiyan 3, because then we can kind of study it. When we never got to see Goku attain Super Saiyan 3, we know that he did it through intense training um, while passed away in the other world, and we never really understood how he did it. Gotenks were, was two Saiyans fused, to, two half Saiyans fused together that was able to do Super Saiyan 3. So we don't know what that would look like either way. So, I think they might transform Super Saiyan 3 in this episode. You guys have probably already seen the episode. I have not. Again, I am recording this at 7.46 in the evening on Sunday. So, <laughs> let's get our Super Sunday rolling. Also, they're really pushing a Jiren Goku rematch. So, we'll see what happens. Because I thought Goku was going to get kicked out episodes ago. Um, but it looks like he's going to be the guy, so we'll see. Alright, let's begin this episode. So the episode opens up kind of where the last one left off, with Khalifa challenging Goku. Khalifa is feeling a little bit responsible for Hit and Kaba getting knocked out, so she is begging in a way Goku to teach her how to go Super Saiyan 3. Saiyans don't beg, they tell, they demand. Their confrontation starts with Sure, I'll teach you how to go Super Saiyan 3, but you have to beat me first. Khalifa's like, okay, you gonna transform? No, I'm tired out from Jiren. Trust me, I'll pick up the pace as we fight. She's like, what? Freaking Goku. 
Champa makes a great statement. It doesn't matter if Goku is the only one that can beat Jiren. It only matters who has the most fighters left at the end of the tournament. But Beerus remi reminds Champa, there's only 23 minutes left to go. It's uh, a little well over half over. There's only three fighters left for Universe 11, so... Well, Goku is keeping up with Khalifa. And he's in base form. But it looks like he might be having a little bit of trouble. Yeah, Goku's still way stronger than Khalifa, even when she's transformed. And he's starting to come back, too. Whis is pretty much telling the audience how much of a superior martial artist is Goku is compared to Khalifa, and that's why he doesn't need to transform to keep up with Super Saiyan level 2. Interesting uh, turn of events. He just busted out an oldie but a goodie. He, uh, he just used an after image technique on Khalifa, and she called it cheating. We haven't seen that in such a long time. I'm so glad he was able to use it effectively against a Super Saiyan 2. Oh, this is great. Khalifa is starting to respond to Goku's technique. She's got a lot of potential is what's going on. And Champa keeps telling her to run away, pommel him, run away, pommel him. Champa can't d decide what to do with Khalifa either. He transformed to Super Saiyan level 2. He hasn't gotten the stamina to transform into a Super Saiyan level 3. But of course, Super Saiyan level 2 for him is completely different than it is for Khalifa. I have to mention the animation in this episode is really, really good. And I can tell the difference between Super Saiyan 1 and Super Saiyan 2 with Goku. His hair is just on fleek. But Khalifa is starting to get stronger. Goku's stamina is slowly returning. They're shaking up the whole stage as Super Saiyan level 2. Sending other fighters flying. That's how powerful these monsters are. Yeah, they're destroying things by trying to kill each other. This is kind of reminiscent to when Goku and Vegeta were beating on each other in the Boo Saga. <laughs> Tricked Goku with a crush cannon and then punched him in the jaw. That was great. And he's getting up slow. Oh, Goku's thinking that she might even be able to master Beyond 3. Goku's inviting uh, Kale to the fight, and Beerus is losing his mind. <laughs> Kale was able to transform into... It looks like a... I don't know what grade Super Saiyan that is, but... It's kind of her version of Super Saiyan 1. It's not her Berserk form, which is really amazing. But Kale is ridiculously strong now that she's learning to control her power. And of course, she's kind of geeking over the fact that she's able to fight with Khalifa. Oh, and they make a dangerous pair. They're kind of tearing him up a little bit. But he's tanking shots! And of course everyone in the stands is freaking out a little bit because Goku's getting pushed back. But they forget it's Goku. Whatever nap Goku was in after fighting Jiren, he's definitely coming out of it. Roshi made an interesting point. Could Goku be able to push Khalifa and Kale back because he's tapping into Ultra Instinct a little bit? And that's not what's going on. We states the reason why he's doing so well against them is because he is literally sharpening his instincts against them. And of course, 
right as they do a double key blast against Goku, Goku nullifies their key by transforming into a Super Saiyan level 3 right before the end of the episode. Oh, and I think Kale is going to transform into a Berserker. Yep, she went full berserk. But I think she's able to control it now. Oh yeah, she's got control. Goku's enjoying the challenge. So I have to say that the animation in this episode was absolutely top notch. Um, it'll be interesting to see. It looks like Goku is regaining his stamina a little bit by fighting. It's like he's trying to get a second wind going inside of him, and he thinks that Kale and Khalifa are going to be able to help him with that, and honestly, yeah, they really are. Um, I don't know. This is interesting, because I kind of feel like these episodes are kind of all for naught. The reason why I say that is because if... Universe 7 wins the tournament, Universe 6 is going to be obliterated, so it's great to see Kale and Khalifa growing, but... So, as far as the preview is concerned, it looks like... It looks like... Yep, there is going to be a fusion happening between Kale and Khalifa in the next episode. Hey, Christmas. That's something to talk about. How strong are they going to get, and can get Goku beat them in whatever forms he has available to him? Because what if Kale and Khalifa fusing is strong enough to stand to Jiren? I guarantee it's not. But, it's an interesting thought. Well guys, I will see you in the next exciting episode of whatever Brain Candy ha- Ugh. I will see you in the next exciting episode of whatever Brain Candy has going on next. Let me know your thoughts on Dragon Ball Super. Also, do you like the way I'm doing Dragon Ball Super? Commentating on the episode? Because I can do it like I do my anime Wednesdays, and and do it in that format, but I figure Anime Wednesday is its own thing, and this is its own thing. Anyway, leave a comment for me. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.